Hi guys and welcome to my channel. Today's gonna be another Will I Buy It video. I do these kinds of videos every single Sunday here on my channel. Uh, this video is inspired by Samantha March. She created this whole idea of basically looking at new releases for um, the week and just talking about them, like talking about whether or not they're interesting and why. And she actually has a community playlist which she created, which I am currently on. Um, I absolutely love watching that playlist. You can find a lot of new and interesting people there and I will put it down below. It's just a link. You can just check it out down there. And I'll also put my own playlist for my own Will I Buy It videos. If you want to just marathon watch my entire Will I Buy It series, then that will be down below as well. Okay guys, so first I want to talk about probably one of the biggest launches for this week and actually I guess for this month. A lot of people have been talking about it, a lot of people have opinions on this. There is a new Naked palette from Urban Decay and it's going to be called the Naked Cherry palette. Now this is a picture of the palette and personally I mean, I mean I'm looking at this palette and I do not like it. Um, I understand a lot of people do, a lot of people uh, are really into this palette. I personally am not, and let me tell you why. Since this palette is called a Naked Cherry palette, like my idea for this palette, um, the color story in my head is a lot different than what I'm seeing on in this palette. I mean, I'm looking at this palette and I'm seeing so many neutral shades and I'm seeing so many light shades. Personally, when I think of cherries, I don't think of like, basically more than half of the colors in this palette and for me like this palette does not like scream cherry you know if this palette was in a different packaging I would not see it as a cherry palette you know um so this is a nice idea and I guess it'll do well but personally like, I'm not really into this palette and also the other reason why I'm sort of like eh, about this palette is just because I've long viewed Urban Decay as sort of like a company that pushes the envelope that's not afraid to be like unconventional that's kind of like a mainstream brand that pushes itself because if you look at the brand's history they have done like they have been the first big brand to do so many different things and now I feel like they're kind of like slowing down a bit. This is something that I would be like, oh, this is interesting if like a different brand came out with it. You know what I mean? Um, I just feel like if Urban Decay is creating a cherry palette, this is not what I would expect from, from Urban Decay. I mean, it's the same packaging. It's the same kind of packaging that they use, but the shadows themselves, I just, I kind of like wish that they would have been a little bit like more push pushy with this palette. I wish they kind of like just stepped out of like people's expectations a little bit more with this palette. Um, I realize I've talked a lot about this palette but I just have a lot to say about it and um, I think that I mean the colors in this palette, like, there's some colors in here that are absolutely beautiful but personally do I like this palette? Not so much. So there is a new uh, full coverage foundation and super sizer concealer and uh, super size concealer from makeup revolution so my first reaction when i saw this was like oh yeah this might be interesting i might be interested in getting this um you know concealer and foundation i'm kind of leaning towards the foundation more to be honest that's just because i tend to um not really wear concealer that much but i'm looking at the foundation and i mean I might be interested in trying it out. Um, I haven't really been trying out a lot of new foundations recently, and this is a drugstore foundation, and it might be pretty good, so who knows. Um, it might be a good purchase for me. I do think that, like, right now, I'm not really interested in, like, the full, on, uh, like, full maximum coverage idea. Wow, this, this room got so bright all of a sudden. Oh, goodness. Yeah, see, this is what happens when you film in natural light. You get some really nice diffusion going on, but then when the sun decides to, you know, like, peek out from the clouds, then you're a little bit screwed. But anyway, lately I've kind of been more interested in shearing out my foundations. I've been interested in wearing less or no foundation. So this, while it is a pretty interesting concept and I might uh, be interested in buying it and wearing it on in videos and things like that, I don't really see myself using it up so, I mean, I guess I maybe could get it because I think it would last me a long time. Because if I'm sharing out this foundation and it's full coverage, it might last a while. 
I don't know. This is a maybe. I might get the foundation. We'll see. So this next item is something that Too Faced is coming out with for the holiday season. They tend to always like do holiday collections with similar colors and packaging to this concept right here. This uh, looks like it's going to be a face palette and an eye palette sort of like meshed into one product. And in theory, it sounds like a good idea. I'm not gonna get it for two reasons. One, because it's limited edition and I try not to get limited edition items. And two, because the colors just don't appeal to me. Nothing in this palette really looks interesting to me and nothing inspires me in this palette. So therefore I do not need it. I used to be super into like the new fashion shows and like the labels and like designers and everything but recently like I've kind of stopped being as much into fashion as I was um or at least like new brands in fashion and I've been seeing this brand like supreme like all the like everywhere and apparently they're like a clothing brand that's like super expensive and they are coming out with a lipstick it's a supreme lipstick I am not gonna be getting this I like the packaging. I think that the packaging looks pretty good. I'm really like liking the packaging a lot. And I mean, I think that not only am I not necessarily interested in this shade, I don't think I'm interested in like the brand as well. So like, I'm not gonna get this because I don't personally like have a craving to get something from Supreme and I don't even know what this brand is. So yeah, I'm not really interested in this. So this is a new Becca Volcano Goddess palette. Uh, this is something, uh, I believe it's gonna be available for Ulta Beauty Platinum members. It's $46 and essentially it, the packaging looks bomb. I would just say that the packaging looks amazing. Uh, the palette itself, not so much. I'm honestly only interested in the fourth row of this palette and that's it. Nothing else in this palette really inspires me and that's just my preference. So I'm not really interested in this palette. I have been seeing a lot of uh, sort of like conversation about this Sigma um, highlight and contour palette and this Sigma blush palette. Now, I can tell you right now that I'm not going to be getting this just because I don't necessarily feel the need to. I don't need contour shades, I don't need highlight shades, and I don't even wear blush, so this is not for me. But um, I have been hearing a lot of people talk about this, so I just wanted to include it in case you guys would be interested. So this is something that I am really into. I think I'll definitely try and get this at some point. This is a new Fenty Gloss Balm, and it's in the shade Diamond Milk. So uh, yeah, by the way, the lighting is going to be changing like so much in this video. Hopefully you guys will forgive me. But this is a Gloss Balm from Fenty Beauty. I am very interested in this. I am actually wearing the original gloss balm in Fenty Glow on my lips today and it's my favorite gloss. Well, I, I won't say it's my favorite because I mean my mind changes all the time but it's definitely the one that I've worn the most and the one I've obsessed the most over. It is such a good gloss. I believe that they have shea butter in it. I that think I think that's what I've heard. So it just really makes your lips look so beautiful and it just moisturizes them. It's honestly like a gloss, but it's more like a balm, you know? It just feels so good on the lips. And the fact that they're coming out with the clear version honestly has me very much interested. I am really into this. I definitely think I'll be getting this. This is something that I was like, oh yeah, I don't really need it. It's fine, I have other highlighters. But then I saw Nikki Tutorials do a video with Rihanna's makeup artist and they were using Fenty products and they were using this highlighter and then I was like, mm, damn it, I want it so bad. I really, like, after that video, they sold it really well because I really want this highlight now. Even though I've said, like, time and time again that I'm not interested in getting new highlighters because I already have highlighters that I really enjoy. I already have highlighters that I use. So why do I need any more highlighters? <sighs> I like this highlighter a lot. I really do. Darn it. Okay, so now the light is back to sort of normal, but I think it'll change in like two seconds. This is a brand called Wander Beauty, and they're coming out with a fever, Wanderous Fever Eye and Face Palette. And again, I mean, like, I saw this and I was like, mm, this is this is the most boring thing I've ever seen in my life. And then I actually saw a video where they promoted it, and I was like, kind of, I was interested. I wasn't like I was going to get it, but I was like, mm, 
It looks so pretty on the supermodel that's wearing it. <laughs> you know, um, so it is a beautiful palette. I will say that. I can definitely see this being an amazing palette for you if you're going to be traveling a lot. If you are someone who likes to do like really just easy makeup, this is a beautiful option. However, is it for me? No, it's not because I can tell you right now that if that palette magically appeared in this room and in my hands, I would not be using it. Like hardly ever. Um, they don't appear to have a lot of matte shades, so that's another reason I would not use it. So, in general, pretty palette, just not for me. Morphe Cosmetics is coming out with a, uh, a 35V Stunning Vibes Artistry Palette. And it's going to be $24, and... Ooh, okay, this, um, I admit when I first saw this palette, I was like, mm, not interested. And I think that I'm still not very interested in this pal, but I do want to say that this is a step in the, in the right direction for Morphe, I think. Because Morphe, honestly, like, they come out with so many palettes, and a lot of these palettes have similar shades. And I get it, like, they can really help you with blending things out and all that, and I get the, um... I sort of, I mean, I guess I, I try to understand, but at the same time, when you have palettes that have like a million different shades of brown in it, it's not something that I'm going to find really appealing, and it's not something that I would honestly be comfortable recommending to a friend. But this, I feel like this is a step in the right direction, because you have a colorful palette, but then again, you have the neutrals, you have the warm tones, you have enough in this palette to satisfy those people that are still interested in warm tones, but you're also like sort of creating a palette that is easy to use and that will work because um, I feel like cool tones are sort of like creeping up on us a little bit. I definitely feel like that's a trend that I'm seeing and I feel like this palette, it's a great transition palette because you have your neutrals, you have your colorful colors. You have your warms, you have your cools, and you have a variety of mattes and metallics, and you basically have everything you need in this palette to create a variety of different looks, which I do like. However, do I need this palette? I don't think so. Just because I already have similar shades in my collection, and I don't necessarily need this palette, but I don't know. I might see like some tutorials, and, and, I, and I might just decide that, okay, I absolutely need this palette. But Urban Decay is releasing other products besides the Naked Cherry palette. They have a face palette, they have a few lipsticks, they have an all-nighter mist, and then they also have a few eyeliners. All of these items are not items that I'm interested in. I don't see myself using these, so I will not be getting these. So Cover FX is coming out with some glitter drops. Um, it's supposed to be an all-over customizable glitter to add a sparkling finish. Now, I believe that this is meant for the face. I don't know how it will work. For a lot of people. This obviously doesn't look like straight up glitter. I mean, I'm zooming into the picture and it looks like a very high metallic looking shimmer. I don't know why they're calling it like glitter drops though, because I don't see a lot of people finding that appealing because so many people are like, I don't want glitter on my face, you know? And I love the idea of mixing in an illuminator with my foundation, don't get me wrong. So maybe I'll try this out um, in stores and I'll see if I can get it. Maybe, I mean, it is it is a little bit expensive, so I don't think I will, honestly, but I might try it out. I don't know why they're calling it glitter. I mean, I don't see a lot of people getting this because of the word glitter, you know? So yeah. Okay, so this is a new launch from Kylie Cosmetics that I believe it came out like um, right when I finished filming last week's video and I was like, darn it. But these are 28 eyeshadow singles and they're also putting them into a magnetic palette and uh, these already launched and they were already available. I, I don't know how well they did. I mean, I'm pretty sure that they did pretty well. I'm kind of interested in this. I'm intrigued. I mean, obviously, I don't need any of the browns, but some of the other colors, they have like a matte blue, they have like a shimmery pink, they have a yellow, they have another yellow shade, and then they have like a dirtier, mustardy yellow, and then they have like a few metallics, which look beautiful. 
I do like this. I feel like this is a beautiful selection of shades and I might be interested in just a few of these colors, but honestly it's very easy for me to talk myself out of getting this because do I have similar duplicates in my collection? Yeah, I do. And do I need this? Strictly speaking, no but I do like this launch. Okay, so Marc Jacobs is coming out with some holiday stuff, and the packaging looks amazing. It looks bomb. It looks fantabulous. But will I be getting this? I can tell you, no. I've tried a little bit of Marc Jacobs. I believe I've tried an eyeliner, a lipstick, and a mascara. And it's a luxury brand. Um, so you guys know that I don't really purchase luxury. So it's not necessarily something that I think would work for me. But moving on, we have some Steel Cosmetics. They have a few launches coming out for a holiday. I'm just gonna like put some pictures up for you on the screen right now. They have some new lip sets, liquid eyeshadow sets, eyeshadow duos, new face palette, and a new Starlight Star Lash Glitter Top. It's gonna be a mascara with a glitter topper. I don't know. I can definitely tell you that I will not be interested in that whatsoever. I don't really like glitter on my lashes. Um, I've never tried it, um, but I can tell you that I'm not interested in doing so. It's just not something that I think would work for me. And also the face palette, uh, no. You know, and like pretty much everything in here is not necessarily something that I see myself using too often, so this is nothing that I need. So Louboutin is coming out with some new um, creamy shadows. The packaging looks bomb. The packaging looks amazing. I can... they're $50 each. Of course it looks amazing. They're calling it the uh, Tapa Loi. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. Um, but I'm not really gonna be getting this because I think I'll probably have to sell a kidney and I'm not really planning on doing that. <laughs> Plus, I mean, I'm not gonna blow like $50 on an eyeshadow, you know, no matter how beautiful it looks. I just, I don't have the desire to do that. Okay, so Smashbox Cosmetics is coming out with a new contour and highlight palette. I don't see them coming out with different shades of this contour and highlight palette. And these colors look like they would only work for someone for medium to light skin. Um, Smashbox? Why? Bye Sarah is coming out with a new holiday thing. This is probably going to be a blush. I wanted to include this because I'm not getting this. So like something that I would never have the desire to use because it looks so pretty, you know. The way that they have pressed this, it looks amazing. It looks, it looks bomb, but I will not be getting this. So next up, I want to talk about a new Becca collaboration, and this is something that they're doing with someone called Hattice Schmidt. It's going to be a highlighter, and it's called Berlin Glow. I don't think that anything will be able to top the collaboration that they did with Jaclyn Hill, unless... Becca does something else other than a highlighter collaboration, they're not really going to get the same kind of return that they got with Champagne Pop. So I can tell you right now that I'm not interested in this. Uh, this is not something that I find very appealing. I only have one Becca product, honestly, and that's the Champagne Pop highlight. I don't need anything else, and I definitely will not be getting this. So Tom Ford is coming out with a new collection and it's going to be called the Boys and Girls Collection and I particularly want to spotlight this uh, lipstick which is going to be a blue lipstick, it's called Cardi. I can say that even though I think this is a beautiful product, I will not be getting this just because I don't really see myself wearing a blue lipstick anytime soon. Um, that's just not in the cards for me at the moment. Let me just say that it's probably going to be super expensive, so therefore it's not something for me. They have some other lipsticks, but again, Tom Ford lipsticks are so expensive that I don't really see myself getting them. There is a new Viseart. People say Viseart. I, I just say Viseart, okay? Um, there is going to be a new eyeshadow palette from them. It's called the Libertine Eyeshadow Palette. And it looks really pretty. Um, I don't see myself really getting this. 
uh, just because I can pretty much dupe every single shade in here in my collection. And whenever something like that happens, I mean, I don't really want the eyeshadow palette, no matter how good it is, you know, because I'm someone that when I look at a new launch, I'm always like looking at the palettes that I have and I'm always thinking, do I have something like this? Do I have a similar shade to this color, this color, this color? And if the answer is yes, and to most of the colors, then I won't really be getting the palette and I won't really have a desire to get the palette. But with this palette, it's like I can dupe like every single shade in this palette. So of course, I'm not really gonna be getting this. There's gonna be a collaboration with Sephora and the Museum of Ice Cream. They're going to be doing a brush set, an eyeshadow palette, a Let Them Eat Popsicles lip set, a charm bracelet with cream highlighters and lip and cheek tints, um, a face palette, and some lashes. Definitely the most interesting collaborations I've seen in a long time. I think the palette looks absolutely beautiful. I love that color story. I think that this collection looks super cute. I don't think I'll be getting this though because you guys know this, I'm not necessarily someone that gets limited edition items. Plus, this looks very much like a collector's collection and I don't collect makeup. I actually want to put out a video talking about that a little bit more in depth, but you guys, like, you guys know that I like to use makeup, right? And I don't necessarily like to have it just sit there and this looks like a really interesting packaging and it looks really pretty and all that. Um, and I'm really tempted, don't get me wrong. But I don't think that this is necessarily going to be something that I would use. I mean, the only thing I could see myself using would be the eyeshadow palette. And, you know, like, I could, what, use it for, like, two seconds and then not be able to use it again. You know, the lashes look really fun, but then again, I don't think I'll be wearing those very often. L'Oreal's coming out with a new Glow Mon Amour. Amour? Amour? highlighter drops, and blush. I would be so much more interested in this collection if the theme was like gold, more gold and less pink, you know, because I don't, I don't really like pink-based products on my face, uh, but this looks pretty. It's just, it's not for me, so I will not be getting this. Let's talk about Novel Cosmetics. They're coming out with a 12 new shades of single eyeshadow for their fall collection. This is honestly the kind of color story that I love for fall. You have your dustier pinks, you have a purple in there, you have some green, you have your neutrals, and the neutrals are colors that you can wear with the colorful shades in this selection. So I really like this collection a lot and I wish more brands would do this. I am not going to be getting this collection. Um, I mean, just because I like something doesn't necessarily mean I have to get it. I mean, I only try to get items that I absolutely love. So this looks really pretty and I feel like I would like to get this, but I'm not like, you know, running to get it, if that makes any sense. So I will not be getting this, that's just my point, but it looks absolutely beautiful and I wish more brands would do something like this. And I actually have a few more fall collections in this video that look really good, so I will be mentioning those later in this video. But moving on, I have, um, of course, a new Morphe palette, and this is something called the 35M and it's called a Boss Mood palette. This looks good. It looks really, really interesting. I love this palette. I love this so much. I mean, I already like, I kind of already purchased the, 35, the 39A palette, uh, this one right here. By the way, I kind of want to, okay, I want to like get, sort of veer off topic a little bit right now, but I kind of am confused because when I first got this palette, um, I was not really, like, I didn't really notice this part too much, and I, like, when I actually started using this palette and, like, sort of working with it, I was kind of like, wait, why does everyone else's palette have, like, this beautiful gold design on the front, and mine is just like this, you know? It's kind of confusing to me. I mean, I know it's the same palette, but, like, did they stop making that, like, beautiful packaging on the front? Like, what's happening? Because, like, this is nice and all, but, like, 
where's the gold you know i want to get other things besides like more free products but like this this is a palette that i that i love like this is a beautiful palette i might like i might get this because it looks so good like this is this is this is such a good palette i love this color story I love this. This is this is so good. KKW Beauty is coming out with a cherry blossom collection, and this is what it looks like. I can tell you right now, not interested in any of this. Um, and you might expect me to like roast KKW Beauty for creating like a cherry themed collection that clearly doesn't resemble cherries, in my opinion whatsoever. I feel like KKW Beauty, she makes her brand around the looks that she likes wearing. Her brand is her makeup style. She doesn't tend to like push too many brown boundaries when it comes to makeup. She doesn't tend to like be too um, out there that much. She knows what looks good on her, she knows her style, and she sticks to it. So that's how her entire brand is, you know? So this fits with her brand, this fits with her aesthetic, this fits what Kim Kardashian is about. So I understand why she came out with this. Am I interested in it? No, I'm not. I will not be getting this. But um, I feel like when you compare it to the Cherry collection from Urban Decay, I feel like Kim Kardashian's version is better because it fits with her brand. You know, whereas the Cherry collection for, from Urban Decay, it doesn't really fit Urban Decay in my head. Because like in my head, Urban Decay is a little bit more than what they're putting out, you know? Does that make any sense? I'm not sure. But like that's just kind of where I stand with that. Urban Outfitters is coming out with their own beauty brand called Oh Hi Beauty. And they seek to enhance natural beauty, not hide it. They have some interesting products. I do have to admit, they have some interesting products. I really like these eyeshadow palettes, especially the one on the right, that one looks beautiful. So yeah, this might be something I'm, I'll be trying out. And it looks like they put a lot of thought into this. So this is an interesting collection. Now Sephora is coming out with some new Sephora favorites and these look like good collections. Like because sometimes Sephora favorites, I'm not really like, I don't really find some of their collections appealing, like some of their um, value sets appealing, but these look like really good value sets. If I had to choose one, I'd definitely choose a highlighter one. They have a glow for it one, and then they have a lash stash one. Both look great. Both look like they would be fantastic value. Um, I kind of think that the glow for it though, for $28, is the best bet. So I might get it. I, I don't know. I think that I would love to try it out. All right, so Sugar Pearl is coming out with a Halloween themed uh, set of lipstick, liquid lipsticks. And they have a black one with like glittery flecks, and then they have an orange metallic. Black lipstick with glitter in it? Like, really? No. Plus, like, I'm kind of over this metallic trend. So, no. Zoeva is coming out with a new collection called Premiere. It looks freaking amazing, I will say that. Again, this is an example of an eyeshadow palette that is fall themed that I really like because, again, like so many brands have released in the past like really generic looking fall themed collections and this is an example of a brand that's kind of like thinking about what they're releasing, you know, because some products that come from brands, I just like look at those products and I'm like, where are you even thinking when you were making this product? Like, why are you releasing this? Because for one thing, everyone already has something that looks exactly like this. And for another thing, this has already been done before. But I feel like this eyeshadow palette, I'm talking about the eyeshadow palette because you guys know I love eyeshadows. This eyeshadow palette looks like it was well thought out, it looks like it's an interesting product, and it looks inspiring, you know, it looks some, like something that I would love to get. Um, it is a little bit difficult to get Zoeva here in the States, so I will not be getting this personally, but this looks like something that would be really interesting. Saucebox Cosmetics is coming out with a Secret Garden palette. Now, I don't know the pricing on this, but... Now, I don't, it got so dark. 
Now, I don't know the pricing on this, but I can tell you that the color story looks bomb. It looks so good. I like this color story a lot, and this looks like an interesting palette. I haven't really heard much from the brand other than the fact that they did a collaboration with Battle Lash Beauty, but um, this palette looks beautiful. I have heard so much about this next launch. This is by Certify, and it's called the Destiny Palette. I have heard so much, so much about it. And it looks so beautiful, so I might get this palette actually, because I've heard a lot of good things from the brand in general. A lot of my favorite uh, YouTubers use this brand, and it looks absolutely beautiful. So yeah, I might get this palette. It looks, it looks so pretty, I love it. This is from Becca Cosmetics. It's They're launching a uh, Volcano Goddess eyeshadow and eyeliner in one. I guess it's like a mixture of two products. I mean, it's a dark eyeshadow with like glittery flux in it. So I don't know. I'm not really interested in that. So we're going out with a bang with the ColourPop. Oh shoot, I just turned my phone off. So we're going out with a bang with the ColourPop Fall Edit Collection. And this, okay, this is another palette that's fall that I absolutely love the look of. This is a good fall palette, in my opinion. And ColourPop, for such a long time, they've been coming out with palettes that look pretty much the same. And I like how this palette, it has the neutral colors. It has the, like, the typical colors, but it looks different. They have some shades in there that look absolutely beautiful. And this is a fall palette, but not a typical cookie cutter fall palette. You get what I'm saying? This is a good fall palette in my opinion. I really am interested in this. I might give this a go. I don't, I might try this out, we'll see. But this looks like a beautiful palette and I'm really interested in it. They have a Supernova Shadow Bundle, which I don't think I'll be getting because they seem to have a lot of neutral shades in here, which I don't really need. And then they have a highlighter palette, which I don't think I'll be getting because I don't really need it, but then the eyeshadow palette. The eyeshadow palette I'm really interested in. We have been through so many different lighting changes in this video. I look blue. Hopefully I'll be able to correct that in editing. Anyway, that's pretty much the end of this video. Thank you so much for watching and staying with me throughout this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, Will I Buy It video for this week. Be back on Tuesday. I'll have a new video up then. Um, I'm not sure what it will be yet, but um, I'm currently editing some things and I will have, I think, Three videos three or four videos out for this week so be sure to come back for those videos I post videos on Sundays Tuesdays and Fridays and I also like to post like bonus videos throughout the week um, as well I'm gonna end this right now because my camera battery is dying and I still need to do the thumbnail so thank you guys so much for watching I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys next time bye guys